Hey guys, I'm Tom the Tech Chap, and I want to show you something a little bit special. There's definitely some magic or witchcraft going on here because right now I'm playing Red Dead Redemption 2 on the PC, maxed out graphics uh, using the power of a RTX Quadro 6000 graphics card. I think that's a $4,000 uh, GPU on a MacBook Air. And yet here we are. Any guesses? I posted on Instagram uh, a couple of days ago, basically asking the same thing, and I had loads of comments saying, oh, it must be Google Stadia or uh, GeForce Now, or it's just a version of Boot Camp, but actually, it's none of those things. So I will put you out of your misery uh, and tell you how it's done. And you can see at the top right here, we have a little logo, and that is for Shadow. It's a, a PC streaming company, you may have heard of them. I actually made a video last year where I went to the offices in Paris to get a bit of an idea of how it all worked. So essentially, I'm streaming a full Windows 10 PC. If I uh, swipe up here, you can see I've got my uh, normal Mac OS desktop, but then I've also got this Shadow app. So I'm just running a simple app, which you can download on Windows, uh, Mac OS, Android, iPhone, Ubuntu even. As you can see, this is a full fat Windows 10 PC running on my MacBook Air. Now, of course, you can get this on your phone, on a tablet, pretty much any device, although I would recommend a laptop because then you have uh, some ports for I.O. so you can plug in mice and keyboards and things like that. But the best part is, well, yes, I can play games on this. It's not just about that, unlike Google Stadia uh, and GeForce Now. This is a full Windows PC and I can use it in any way I like. So I've installed the Adobe Creative Suite. I've got Premiere Pro, uh, Lightroom, Photoshop in here. And because I've got this powerful uh, desktop system, all the way at a server farm somewhere. It's actually significantly more powerful than the hardware I actually have in this laptop. And once you start thinking about all the advantages, for example, there's no power needed here. It uses very little battery life because I'm not actually using uh, the raw horsepower of the laptop locally. It's essentially a terminal. So you could get away with buying a really cheap laptop and then just use it for the ports and the trackpad and the screen. And then obviously all the computing is done remotely. So there's very little power draw. It doesn't heat up your laptop. You can access it anywhere in the world. So you don't actually have to physically take the same device with you. Depending on how much power and storage you need, there's different pricing tiers, so you can customize it uh, to the way you want. Then all you have to do is download the Shadow app, and then everything you do is within that instanced version of Windows. And through the settings, you can actually make it so it launches straight into it, so you never have to deal with that really sluggish and slow desktop that is native to that machine. Since I made that first Shadow video, they've made a few changes. Firstly, they've upgraded the hardware with the latest processors and graphics cards, so we still get smooth frame rates even at 4K or with high refresh rates in the latest games. They've also discontinued the original Shadow Box, but it is being replaced with the upcoming Shadow Ghost. Unlike the box, it will act as a bit of an I.O. hub that runs the Shadow program. But the big news is they're rolling out three new subscription tiers. Starting from just $12.99 a month for Shadow Boost, which lets you play games in full HD. Then there's Shadow Ultra for $24.99 a month, which gives you access to more powerful hardware, up to 4K or Quad HD at 144Hz, although you will of course need a high refresh rate monitor or TV to take advantage of that. And finally, there's Shadow Infinite for $39.99 a month, which is basically the ultimate gaming setup, with an RTX Titan or equivalent GPU, 32 gigs of RAM, and one terabyte of storage. You do have the option, though, of paying a little bit more if you want extra storage. It's pretty exciting stuff, but it gets better because I've actually teamed up with Shadow to offer you guys an exclusive discount. So uh, if you do fancy giving it a try at the end of the video, click the link in the description below and enter the code TECHCHAP, so T-E-C-H-C-H-A-P. You'll get five pounds off a Boost subscription, 10 pounds off Ultra, and 15 pounds off an Infinite subscription. And if you are one of the first 50,000 people to pre-order, then you are guaranteed uh, to get it activated in February, 2020. So Shadow is kind of like Netflix, but instead of streaming movies, you're streaming a full fat Windows PC. And so instead of having to buy a games console or a desktop PC outright, you're just paying a monthly subscription. And if you do cancel it, you'll still have a month to take all your data and files off. Speaking of data, obviously privacy is very important. And I actually asked the guys at Shadow what their policy is, you know, can they see what you're doing? Uh, and the answer is no. The only time uh, they tell me that they'll ever have access is if a crime is committed or something and uh, information is requested from a uh, police agency or something like that. Normally they have absolutely no access, no control. They can't see uh, what you're doing or any of your stuff. Just like Netflix though, if your internet isn't fast enough, then you'll get buffering and higher latency. 
Shadow recommends a 15 megabits per second connection for 1080p and 30 for 4K. In practice though, I think 25 and 50 respectively will guarantee a properly smooth experience. I still do get the occasional hiccup with my 40 Mbps connection, and you can tell there's a little bit of latency. So I wouldn't really want to play twitchy games like Call of Duty without a super fast or wide connection. But most of the time, even for me over Wi-Fi, it's more than playable. Another advantage though is while the quality of the stream depends on your internet connection, within your Shadow PC you get super fast internet. So downloading games, apps, or your files from the cloud is just ridiculously quick. I have to say, it still feels a little bit like magic that I can edit my 4K videos and play games like Red Dead 2 on here with maxed out graphics on any laptop. I just so happen to have a MacBook Air lying around that I'm sort of demonstrating this on, but you can do this on your TV, on any old laptop or desktop, uh, or tablet or phone, or any device that can download the Shadow app. And from within that, all your stuff is saved. So I could close this down, fly across the world, log into Shadow, and I'll still have all my games and data there. But what do you reckon? What do you make of Shadow? And do you think streaming is the future of everything, including work PCs and gaming? Or would you still rather have a console or a PC and uh, pay the upfront amount? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget that Tech Chap discount. It's exclusive for you guys. So just click the link in the description below, enter Tech Chap, and you can get money off. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you found this video useful. It was a lot of fun to make. Uh, and hopefully I'll see you next time right here on the Tech Chap.